All right, Seth, which one do you want? You want the big boat? All righty. Each year for my kids' birthdays, I like to build them something out in the shop, out of wood, something that they'll actually remember and get to enjoy for their entire life. Uh, this is for my son that's turning four years old this year. Uh, he's already got the C-130 airplane and an M1A1 Abrams tank. So the theme for all of his presents is uh, military type vehicles. And this year he got to pick what he wanted. So we pull out all of my uh, wood magazines and let him look through them and pick. Uh, this year he picked from the November 2016 issue 243. Uh, he picked the mil spec Iowa class battleship. And this thing ended up being a lot bigger than I was thinking it was going to be. It's three feet long, seven inches wide, and all said and done weighs 12 pounds. So we're going to start having to find a new place to put all these toys as they start getting more and more of them. This was a special piece of walnut that I'd been saving for this project. Uh, really thick, it was two and a quarter inches and I needed to plane it down to an inch and three quarters. So trying to do a good job, I took a little bit off at a time and it took a little while to get it just perfect. This is when it first finally dawned on me how big this piece of wood really was and how big this boat was gonna turn out. Normally I would use a spray adhesive, but I guess I had run out, so I improvised and used blue masking tape to attach the pattern to the wood. For the next cuts, I had to tilt the table of the bandsaw to 15 degrees to make that bevel on the front and the back of the ship. quality of the final product in any woodworking project is directly related to how much time you spend sanding. So uh, you'll see me sanding a lot in this video and there's a lot that I didn't even show, but uh, I'll usually on something like this, I'll start probably with a 150 grit and end with a 220.
we are drilling the holes for the main guns. Uh, the drill press is always one of the first tools that I let my kids help me with. They love doing it and it's as safe as you can be. The plan called for maple and cherry, two nicely contrasting woods, but for this whole set of toys, I've been using maple and walnut. I just really like the way the two look together, so I thought I'd keep it consistent across the board. Here I am gluing on the first level and just making sure that it's perfectly centered and everything's just right. This part of the project was just cutting out lots of little pieces and stacking on top of each other and just running out of clamps.
And this is how far I got on the first day out in the shop, about halfway there. The second day I started working on the different guns. There are six smaller ones and three large ones. When it's all done, the two different size guns will be pointed upward in different angles. Uh, the small ones are at 22 degrees and the bigger ones are at about 31 degrees. So a trick here was holding them up against a block that had those two different angles cut in it. Now I'm cutting two different diameters of dowel for the two different guns. There's a 3 16 and a quarter inch dowel. It was at this point that I realized I forgot to buy epoxy when I was at the store. So this is as far as I made it today. Uh, we'll head to Home Depot tomorrow and get some epoxy and see if we can wrap this thing up. Here I am adding epoxy to each of the guns. There's six small screws for the small guns and three bolts for the larger guns. Now I'm putting the dowels into each gun. Now I'm gluing the smaller guns onto the deck. I applied a clear satin finish, one coat to the bottom and two coats to the top. Jesse, what do you think of your boat? Do you like it? You love it? Good. Happy birthday, buddy. Thank you. Look at it. Um, on my boat. On your boat, honey, how many are there? Big ones and little ones. No way. 